Hi, my name's David, I'm with Brilliant Directories, and I'm thrilled to be the first to welcome you to your free trial of the Brilliant Directories platform. We have thousands of happy and successful users from around the world, including the United States, Australia, the UK, Canada, South Africa, and plenty of other places. So while Brilliant Directories may be a new platform for you, there's no need to worry. Most people learn how everything works incredibly quickly and easily. That's because the entire back end of the platform is designed to be as intuitive as possible. And we'll go ahead and jump on into that in just a moment. Now your 14 day free trial is a perfect opportunity for you to not only see how the platform works, but to also see your idea come to life on a live website. So no matter where you are, you can view and manage your trial website. And toward the end of your 14 day trial, we can always convert your trial website into your full fledged official live website. This means that all of the awesome work that you do on your trial website will be moved right on over to your new official website. Very cool stuff. So let's give you a brief overview of the blank slate that you'll be starting with. This is the default stock website that everybody gets when they sign up with Brilliant Directories. As you can see, it's pretty bare bones. Really, it only has the necessary content on it to kind of get you started. So the homepage really doesn't have a lot of information, it doesn't have any live streaming widgets like uh, the most recent members or newest content, nothing like that. Uh, the How It Works page does have some preloaded content. The website blog has a sample article for you. And on the Join Today page, there is some sample membership packages all set up. All you need to do is go ahead and add your little touch to all of this. And keep in mind, every single element of your Brilliant Directories website can be completely customized by you. We do have really simple point and click options for pretty much every setting you can imagine. However, if you do have experience with web design or web development or any of that, you do have complete access to your website source code. So you can add in any PHP, HTML, CSS, any of that that you would like. However, if you don't know any of that, don't worry. Like I said, we have all those great easy options for you. So let's go ahead and jump on into that. This is the back end. This is the admin dashboard of your website. This is the main page. So you can see it'll tell you the total amount of members that you have. Here we have three sample members. These again come with every single stock website. We also tell you how many members you've gained in the last seven days, how many new leads your website has attracted, as well as the total revenue that you have generated. Also here is a really great section on support. So if you don't know how to do anything, right here we have the top eight most frequently asked questions. You can click on any of these links and in a new tab it will bring you to a video. Now, if you don't need help with any of that, what you can also do is just type in a keyword for whatever you need help with right here in the search box. So say we need help setting up membership levels. All we need to do is type that in. And you can see suggestions are automatically populated. So we can click on any one of these and we'll get another page. Most of these pages do have videos that you can go ahead and follow along with. However, some support documents do not have videos. It's just text and images. Now the images are always high quality, so it's still incredibly easy to follow along with. I also want to mention our support center. So you can go to bootstrap.brilliantdirectories.com and there you'll find all of our support documents for every single element of your website. And there's also a link available to you that will bring you right here to our start here video tutorials. These are video tutorials on some of the topics that pretty much everybody needs help with when first starting out. So this is a really great place to visit right after you're done with this video or right after you start to play around with the platform a little bit. Okay, so let's go back into the admin. Over here on the left are all of the various pages that you can navigate to to edit certain settings. Members is where you can manage all of the members on your website. So as I mentioned, we have those three sample members. Now if we go into settings and general settings, these are just the basic settings for your website. So your website name, the industry name, you can also upload your own logos, favicon, uh, add your social media links, all this sort of stuff. And then under design settings, 
Here is where you'll probably be spending a lot of your time. So just to show you how some of this works, pretty much all of the settings are contained within these drop down menus. And here you can select um, things such as font sizes, font types, different colors of elements. Really easy to do all of this. Um, we also have a pre-made color sets tab. So right now we're just on the default, my current color set, um, which is this one, the default colors. So we can go ahead and choose any one of these and it will completely change the look and feel of the website. So if we go ahead and do, if we select Yoohoo and we save the changes, and we refresh our website, you can see the theme colors have completely changed. Um, and then if you would like, you can use one of these color sets, these pre-made color sets as a starting point and then you can go into the design settings and then tweak some of the colors of specific elements. Now for this section of the website, the hero section, where we have this big background image in the search console, to edit that, we go to a homepage layout and under homepage search settings, we can change the image. So we'll click replace image. Here are some stock photos that are on every website by default. So we can go ahead and select one of these. We can also upload our own. We'll save the changes. We'll check the site again. And you can see the image has been changed. And what we can also do is so right now, if we just click the search button, it just searches for our registered members. But let's say we are building a website for um, real estate listings. So we would want this uh, search console to search for properties that are listed on our website. It's really easy to do that. We'll just go back into the design settings, homepage layout, homepage search settings, and for search type, you can see this first section under member search, we have some options. But what we want to do is scroll down to features search and this will let us select which feature this search console will go through. So in this case we want real estate. Uh, so we click on that. We save the changes. Let's refresh the site so it updates. And so now you can see we have uh, a lot more options. We have bedrooms, bathrooms, the status, so for sale or for rent, property types. All of this you can change as well. But if we go ahead and click search now, we don't have any property listings available, but you can see it does bring us to the property listings page. So any listings that we do have on our website will automatically be displayed right here on this results page. It's really quick and easy to do all of these changes as well as change any other element of your site. So that's pretty much how all of the settings for your design elements are operated. Just point and click, really simple, really quick. Okay, so this was just a really short little introductory video. Again, make sure to check out our video tutorials for our Start Here series. This will give you a lot of really useful information along with easy to follow videos. It runs you through the design settings, setting up membership levels, all of that good stuff. So thank you again so much for trying out this demo and I wish you the best of luck with your business and on your brand new website. I look forward to seeing you in other videos. Take care.